Dude, my beef of the week, I'm going to just off the top, but this, this jewel, I've been hitting this thing like crazy. It's mm. definitely got its hooks into me. It's tough. It's, it's a slippery kind of addiction because I think sometimes when we think about addiction, we think that the craving is loud and that it's like, oh, give me this. Let me do this. But it can be much more subtle than that. You can just be sitting there and like all of a sudden your brain's just like, hey, man, why don't you just take a nice little drag of that thing? It's mm. not a big deal. We're not addicted. We just want to take a little puff because we're a little bored. But you don't realize that is the addictive voice masking itself as something minor because it knows that tone is going to more easily let you slip into its fucking grip. Mm. So uh, the pernicious voice of um, of uh, vice inducement. Stay out of my head, bro. Yeah, I... Uh... I, I've had my struggles with those too. It's tough. Be- and the, the biggest trigger for me is I'll go surfing and my brain will be like, dude, don't you want a nice treat after that? Don't you want to just take a nice rip of a little like puff bar? Ooh. And it's just like, it's that thing of where you, you, you get that dopamine squirt where your mind is like, you go treat yourself, you know, just yeah. have a nice little puff. You only get one. You'll be over it after that. But it's just, and then it just snowballs. It keeps like, going. When quarantine first started, Dude, I mean, just because I was, you know, I was staying at home all day. I was just ripping those things nonstop because. Oh, I bet, yeah. I was sort of, and in my mind, I was just justifying it. I was like, I was like, well, what else am I going to do? That's the thing, too. Your brain's like, okay, well, I have these other vices that are like potentially worse. And then you're like, this isn't as bad as me getting hammered or like wailing on myself. Yeah. You're like, no, this is probably the lesser of the evils. Right. But then when you get off it, like, I'm, you know, because I realized how, 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 anxious they made me and how they just made, put made me put me in just a lower mood lower vibration and so when you get off it you're just like you're like it's your mind clear you're like whoa like it, it but they're so hard to get off it because the cravings just don't stop but once you get off it it's just very kind of your happiness goes up for you get sure. boosted mm. yeah it's just so tough yeah i think i'm probably a week away from trying to get off of it but then i feel like that's the language of the uh <clears throat> the consistent user you know, yeah. if you go on like a trip, like if you're going away for like a few days, just leave it and then you'll be on a trip and you'll have less uh, motivation to buy one. Oh, nice. Yeah, yeah. Maybe I'll go stay with my mom for a couple of days. Yeah. Yeah. And then also I have less vices when I'm around my parents because I want to yeah. like prove to them I don't have vices. Exactly. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, that's a really smart move. Mm-hmm.